for Everything Scary, I'm GM Hans, and today, it's a bad day, because today is November 1st, that means it is the day after Halloween, and we are the farthest away from the Halloween season that we could possibly be, it's a very sad day for the Haunter community, including myself, Spirit Halloween stores are disappearing, all Halloween stores are disappearing, and the Halloween season uh, is kind of going away until next year. But, there are a couple good things about November 1st. One of them is that Spirit Halloween starts to sell all of their ISC or in-store experience slash themes. They start to sell those pieces if you want to buy them. And, today was also the 50% off sale. So today, I actually was able to pick up one of the flame machines from my local Spirit Halloween from the Reaper's Island display. I was able to buy the flame machine and today I'm going to be doing a review on it. Showing it off because I know a lot of people were not able to get it because a lot of people loved it and it kind of became a rare item. But I'm going to be showing it off and telling you if it is a good item or not. So, let's get right into the video. starts I just want to say I have a video coming out of my 50% off haul all the stuff I got today on November 1st on the spirit sale now I'll give you a hint take a look in the background because I'm actually filming this once I already got everything as you can see there's a little bit of a hint on what's behind me uh, what used to be wacky mole clown spot so definitely stick around you're gonna want to see what I picked up for 50% off let's just say I got very lucky and I definitely got a lot of very good stuff for an amazing price but, without further ado, let's get right into the review of the Spirit Halloween Silk Flame Machine. So, I have the Flame Machine set up in my Dark Zone Research Facility display, my in-room display. If you haven't seen what it actually looks like, uh, definitely go check out that video where I show off my display. But that's where I have it. Uh, so, obviously, this was a it was acquirable at Spirit Halloween locations this year, as it was used in the Reaper's Island Village display. Uh, you could actually walk through the flames in certain stores, other stores it was small, but it would just be there. And these are basically giant metal uh, boxes with fan, giant powerful fans in them that blow up a silk, uh, kind of a silk material that is red. There's light bulbs in it and it makes it look like fire. It has blue and red light bulbs and it looks really cool. Uh, one of the positive things about this flame machine is how big the flame is. When you see it in a store, you don't think it's that big, but you're gonna see in my room the flame is very tall it goes up pretty high because there's a lot of silk there uh, another positive thing about it is that the machine the actual fan is very 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 powerful it the only thing I don't like about it is because of that is that it is very loud uh, you don't realize it in the store because animatronic sounds are over it and the radio is over it but when you have it in a room you it's just very loud the, uh, the flame machine, you can hear it, it's a loud fan, but to the same token, it's a big fan, so it can actually, it does keep the silk up, and it actually looks like a fire. Another positive thing about it is the light bulbs. I really like the light bulbs in it because it actually does add to the flaming effect. There's blue and red light bulbs, so it kind of uh, varies the silk, and it looks really, really nice. I really enjoy how those light bulbs come out. There's actually two layers, so on the front there's a layer of light bulbs, and on the back there's also another layer of light bulbs. Uh, which kind of adds that color. Like I said, it's actually a metal base. I thought it was going to be plastic. I thought it was a plastic box with the silk, but it is not. It is very nice quality. It is actually uh, full on metal. It is very, very hard. And the one thing I'll mention, it is actually pretty heavy. Since it is metal, it is a pretty heavy item. Uh, one, of the, I thought it was going to be a lot bigger when I saw a picture of it. I thought it was a bigger box, but it's not. It is actually pretty compact, but again, it is metal, so it is nice quality. Uh, to the, again, to the same degree though, the silk is just silk, so you're going to want to be careful with it if you have it. Uh, it could rip, so if you're not gentle with it, the material probably will rip. I, I got mine obviously from a store, you can't buy them brand new, and mine had a really, really, really slight tear on one on the flame, but of course that's going to happen if it gets dropped, or someone, or you scratch it or something. Uh, but I don't think it'll, it won't hurt, it won't break itself if it's uh, blowing up, it's not going to rip. Um, uh, one thing I do like about it again is that red texture on the silk really looks nice. It's a nice pitch of red. It's not too dark where it looks dumb. 
and it's not too bright where it looks cartoony. It's right in the middle there where it could look like a realistic fire. Uh, and, and by the way, the edges, again, a, a, kind of a hard thing to see in stores, but the edges are kind of feathery, and the way they're cut, it actually makes it look like fire where it kind of has those sharp edges, and that's exactly how that silk is cut, so it does look very realistic. Talking about realisticness, I, that item does look very, very realistic. Uh, it comes out cool, especially in a dark setting when the lights are all off. It looks like almost a real fire, and it is an amazing, amazing piece. Again, it's going to become a rare commodity, um, because most likely, since it's an ISC piece, it'll only be available for this year. And from what I know, stores are selling out of them very quick, because people love these things. I was going to get more, but I, this store, my store only had one left, so it was the only one I could get. But I'm still happy with it. It is awesome. Like I said, it's big, so you don't even really need to because it takes up the space. Uh, it's very nice. Fills up the space, and I think it really fits in with my Dark Zone Research Facility uh, display. Uh, and I think it really does have a nice feel to it. And again, when you're getting it, you have the feel of Reaper's Island Village in your home. You're bringing it into your home, and again, it is a rare piece. So a lot of positives to this item. First of all, it looks cool. Second of all, it was in uh, a spirit theme at your local store, and it will become a rare item uh, in the years to come. Like I mentioned about IC pieces, they'll only necessarily come around once. Um, even like, for example, the crates. They've been coming out with crates for ISCs for a couple years now, but even though every year they come out with different designs, so the one from the year before will still become rare because you still can't get it. Most likely, these flame machines will never return to Spare Halloween stores, and you can't get them anywhere else. Or and even if you can get them, not as good quality as these. Again, the metal base and everything. Uh, they're selling for 50 bucks at Spare Halloween locations. At least that's the official pricing for it on the Reaper's Island Village price sheet. I totally think that it's worth the $49.99. Like I said, it's pure metal. The silk is nice. There's two layers of light bulbs, and the flame is very big. And it does have a nice weight to it. So it is definitely worth the $49.99, but again, uh, you can only pay the $49.99 if you can find it in your local Spirit Halloween location. I know for some of the smaller stores, they didn't have as many flames. So stores where you could actually walk through them, there were like six, I think. There were three or four on each side. Smaller stores, they only had six. There were four in the middle and two at the top. Uh, so if you had a small store, uh, your store is going to have less flame machines, so they're probably going to sell out with them quickly. I definitely recommend, to, I definitely do recommend that you pick up this item if you can. They are really cool, they're going to become rare, and is definitely my favorite IC piece that Spirit Halloween has ever used in any of their theme displays. It's definitely my favorite that I own. As you can see in the background, I had the Spirit Station Zombies uh, sign from a couple years ago, and you can't see it, but above that I have the Spirit Aquarium sign from, also from last year. Um, so that is cool. Uh, just to let you guys know, there is another, I got another ISC piece, uh, actually two more, there's two more videos that are going to come out. Two more ISC pieces that I got uh, at Spirit this year on November 1st. I picked them up just now, uh, and there's going to be two more videos coming out with them. I wanted to separate them, but there will be two videos, and then I'm going to be doing a video on my 50% my fifty percent off haul, showing you everything I was able to get at the 50% off sale. And again, there's a little bit of a hint right there. Uh, so that's going to wrap up my mini review on the Spirit Halloween Silk Flame Machines. Just some final notes, I definitely do recommend you can pick this up if you can find it. They're cool items and they will definitely, definitely become rare. That's going to wrap up my review, so let's cut to the outro. So it's going to wrap up my review on the Spirit Halloween uh, Silk Flame Machines. Let me know what right in comment down below. Did you get a chance to buy the Flame Machine? Did you not? Do you want it? Let me know what right in comment down below. As always, remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Hit the notification bell to get a notification right when I drop the rest of my ISC and 50% off haul videos. You're definitely not going to miss them. I was able to get some really cool stuff for and a great price. As always, for everything scary, I'm GM Haunt. I'll see you guys later for more Spirit Halloween 2020 and soon 2021 videos. Goodbye.